Good morning, everybody. So I'm going to do something a little bit different with the simulation. There are three parts at the bottom. Um, there's one called sandwiches. There's one called molecules. And then there's the game. The game is what you are going to be playing. Um, what we are going to do together in this video is just go through the sandwiches and the molecules. Then I'm going to give an example of the game and then tell you what you're going to do. Okay, so this is meant to give you a, a sort of a metaphor for uh, the way chemical reactions operate in the world. So if you think about making a sandwich, um, perhaps there's two pieces of bread reacts with one piece of cheese to make one sandwich. Or we can look at meat and cheese. We can say two pieces of bread plus one piece of meat plus one piece of cheese makes one sandwich. Now this is a lot like a chemical reaction. Notice that the reaction is balanced in the sense that you need a coefficient of two here, and that means that you need two, san two pieces of bread to make the sandwich. Just like you might need two hydrogens to make a water, right? Now these numbers here, these are not grams. These are mole values, right? Now with pieces of bread, they're not moles because pieces of bread are not really tiny. But with atoms, these are going to be mole values, okay? So what I want you to do is think of the reaction up here as the recipe, meaning the smallest whole number ratios that allow you to make one sandwich, right? Now let's just look at, at cheese to make it easier right now, okay? What's happening down here in these boxes, this is not the recipe. This is where we cook, right? The left side is the table where we cook, and the right side, after the reaction, is where we eat our food, okay? Now, the cooking process happens according to the ratios of the balanced reaction, or the recipe, right? Now, this process of using a recipe to cook food in chemistry is called stoichiometry. I want you to say that out loud to yourself. Stoichiometry. Now let's say it 10 times. Stoichiometry, 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 stoichiometry. What that is, essentially, the word stoichiometry is a fancy way of saying, treat the chemical reaction as a recipe and then cook with as many things as you want, but just know that when you cook, it's going to happen according to the recipe. So let me show you. If I want to make a sandwich, I need how many pieces of bread? Two. Okay. Now notice, I have not made a sandwich yet until I add one piece of meat. I mean, cheese. And now I've made a sandwich. Okay, so now what's going to happen now if I add other pieces of cheese? Okay. Those other pieces of cheese are not making more sandwiches because there's not enough bread. Okay. So how many more pieces of bread do I need to make these sandwiches. Well, every time, according to my recipe, I have one piece of bread, I need two pieces, I mean one piece of cheese, I need two more pieces of bread. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four. So for every one piece of cheese, I need two pieces of bread. Here I'm going to need eight more pieces of bread. Oh, I only have six more that I can use. So, oh, I'm sorry. I needed, yeah, that's all I needed was six more because there was three extra. Okay, so let's try something again. Okay, let's say now I have one, two, three, four, five pieces of bread. Okay, and I want to make sandwiches. How many sandwiches can I make? Well, if I have two pieces of bread, I need one piece of cheese. So if I have five pieces of bread, I need two and a half pieces of cheese, but I can't. So let's add one piece of cheese, okay? And now I have three pieces of bread left over, okay? Let's add another piece of cheese. Now I have one piece of bread left over, okay? So in this reaction, 
what was the excess reactant? The excess reactant, or the reactant that we had too much of, okay, in this case, was the bread. We have bread left over. What reaction reactant limited the reaction? And that was cheese, right? Let's look at it with regular molecules here, okay, in this situation. I'm going to start this over here, okay? So, you know, just like in the sandwich metaphor, we needed two pieces of bread and one piece of cheese to make one sandwich. In this situation, we need two H2 molecules plus one O2 molecule to make two moles of H2O. And that makes sense because here we have four H's, here we have four H's, here we have two O's, here we have two O's. So I want you to think about it just the same way. And watch this. Here are H2's. So if I had two H2's, and 102, I make two H2Os. And that's what we mean by a chemical reaction being balanced. Two H2s plus one O2 made two H2Os. So what's going to happen here if I add extra H2s? Right? Those aren't going to make extra H2Os. Those are just going to be excess because in order to do that, I need to make another H2O if I have four H2s, I would need then two O2s. So I need to add one more, okay? All right. So now let's look at what you guys are going to do in this. Well, let's make ammonia really quick. Let's do this. So in this reaction here, uh, every time you have one and two, you need three H2s. And that makes two polar NH3s. So what if I add more N2s? Okay, that's not going to make anything because every time you have one N2, you need three H2s. Well, if I had two, I would need six. So what am I going to have to add here? One, two, three, more. And then I made my four. So one is to three is to two is the same thing as two is to six is to four. All right. So I'm showing you this because the reaction here, Okay, is the least whole number recipe. Okay, this is where the cooking is happening. So two to six to four is the same thing as one to three to two. We all know what it's like to make a batch of cookies for a lot of people. Even though the recipe might tell you how to make one batch, you want to make, say, ten. You're still going to scale up the ingredients. Let's look at a combustion reaction right here. Okay, so we've been looking at combustion reactions. This is the combustion of methane. We talked about this in the check-in today. Um, for every one CH4, you need two O2s. So for every one CH4, you need two O2s. And that makes one CO2 and two H2Os. Right? Notice, by the way, that everything is nonpolar except for these water molecules. Right? So this would be a gas. This would be a gas and we have the two water molecules. So what if I wanted to make more product? Well, I can scale it up. So for every two of these, I would need four of these to make two of these and four of these. Now, if I added more O2, it's not gonna make more product. So, because if I added eight O2s, I would need four of these. And now see, we have enough, I add more, CH4, is, it's not going to make more product because it's not following the reaction. So that extra fifth CH4 is an excess reactant. Okay. So what you guys are going to do is this. You guys are going to, people, my apologies, are going to go here to the game. Okay. And you're going to play this game and you're going to play each level. And each level has five challenges. Okay. And what you're going to do after you accomplish each challenge, is you're going to take a screenshot of it. I'm going to play the first one in each for you. And then you're going to screenshot the four and put them in the document down there at the bottom for me. And that's what you're going to get. That's going to be the checkout for today. Okay. So what they're doing in this, which is really cool, is they give you the recipe. Okay. So we have two NOs. Plus one O2 makes two NO2s, okay? And they give you these products, and you're going to have to work backwards here, 
Okay, so in terms of the products here, we have one NO2, and then we have these leftovers, right? The NO and the O2. So let's just make those four NO2s first. Okay, so to make these four NO2s, okay, two NO2s requires one O2, but I'm going to make four. So I need to add double, right? There's that right there. Okay. And two NO2s requires two NOs, so four NO2s would require four NOs. So I'm going to go now, one, two, three, four, because you always need double the amount of NOs, O2. Okay, so that should give us the reaction. Two, one, two should be the same as four, two, four. You can even look at these numbers down here at the bottom. But then you have one NO and one O2 left over. So I'm going to add one NO, one NO2. Okay. And I check that. I got it. So I'm going to screenshot the first one. Okay. All right. So you're going to do all five challenges here. I'm going to go back to the game. Let's start over here. And we'll go to level two. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go in the other direction. So the recipe says that for every one N2, you need three H2s. Okay. So in here, we have four N2s and six H2s. Okay. So we got to add some things over here to the product side to figure this out. Okay. So... Let's go through and let's let's first see if we have enough to make one. Okay, so one of these N2s right here would require three H2s. Okay, I mean one of these N2s, the blue ones, would require three H2s. So one, one, two, three. Okay, so that's going to give us one right right there. And then, one, one, two. okay, so we obviously do not have enough H2s. So let's go the other direction. So three H2s, one, two, three. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six H2s, right? So if we have six H2s, we're gonna need three N2s, okay? Six H2s would require three N2s. Oh, I see, because we always need double the amount of H2s. So if we had four N2s, we would need eight H2s, but we don't have eight. We only have six, okay? So we are going to take three N2s and the six H2s, okay? And that should make, oh, I'm sorry. We always need three times the amount, okay? So if we have one N2, if we had four N2s, we need 12 H2s, okay? So we have nowhere near that. All right, so if we have one, and see how I went back to the balanced reaction? So one, three, two, right? If we had four here, it would be 12 and two, but we have nowhere near that. So we're gonna go six here, which this would be two. So it'd be two, six, four, okay? So how many of these am I going to make? Well, I'm going to make four of these. One, two, three, four. Okay. Because I have six of these here. Okay. And that's going to require two of these. Okay. So how many of these am I now going to have left over? I'm going to have two left over. One, two. Okay, and I'm going to use up all six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll use up all six of those. So I won't have any of those left over. Boom. Okay, so I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Okay. Now, let's do one of level two. Now, by the way, you're going to do all five of these levels. So let's go to level three. Okay, so according to the balance reaction here, okay, one O of two plus one H2O makes one O2 and two HFs, all right? So let's look what we have here. We have one OF2, that's fine, one OF2, there it is right there. And you only need one H2O, okay? But we have three, so we only need one of those, 
Okay, so we should have two H2Os left over. One, two H2Os left over. Okay, so after we have those two H2Os left over, we're going to follow the balanced reaction here. So one OF2 and one H2O is going to make one O2, okay, and two HFs. Boom. Check. Okay. Take a screenshot of that. Okay. So you guys are going to go through and do, I guess you're going to do 12 total, the other four that I did not do. All right. Take care, everybody.